hello good morning welcome to BSN channel today we are doing um, stew this morning um, purposely for rice banku or um, what do you call it you can eat couscous with it you can also um, eat anything you like with it Gary anything but it's going to be lamb this is the lamb the shoulder of lamb that has been already cut into pieces, steam up. I only steam it up for just 10 minutes, not long. The moment it boiled, I steam it up for 10 minutes so that it becomes a little bit chewy, which is nice. There's still a couple of bones in it. I've got some that has been the meat has been taken out, which is good to be thrown in, and those are cut very thinly. And the big ones are with the bones. Um, during the time, um, what do you call it? When I took the water out, I did not throw it away. There's the one that I used for the steaming. I kept it for a reason so that my stew will have a nice flavor from the lamb. That was the reason why I've got this water here. It will go in eventually, you will see it. And as you can see in the flying pan here, I've got my olive oil. I'm not just going to put the meat in a stew. I'm going to try and fry the meat for a while, brown it a little bit more, so that um, it will have a nice flavor. So I've got flying pan here with the olive oil. I'm going to try and fry the meat for a while. This is the olive oil that I use, normally use extra virgin olive oil so now the water is ready I'm going to start frying the meat before I do that I will show you quickly the ingredients that is going to go in to make the sauce these are the ingredients I've got here ginger cut already I've got two scott bonnet pepper and I've got loads of onions. I like onions. So I've got big sizes, you know, large size, two large size. And I've cut them already prepared. And when, when we get to that point, we'll be back to explain everything in detail to you. But um, I'll be using tomatoes, puree. I've got these uh, plum tomatoes. So I use two tin of that because I want a big sauce, not too big, but just for a couple of days, like two, three days. So then I've got these plum tomatoes that it can be, it's also going to go inside in a sauce. I've got black pepper here. Um, I love this black pepper. That's what we've been using very often now. And I've got my garlic powder. I like the California granule uh, garlic, which I normally use, as you can see. So that's these are the things that is going to go inside the sauce when I'm done with the frying of the meat. As you can see, my fin is ready. So I'm going to start putting the meat inside the pot, as you can see. So I'll do the big ones first, which is um, it's fine, as you can hear it. So I'm hoping to put all the big ones in first so I'm using the big one first and then after I'll do the small one making sure that um, all the big ones is gone in yeah. so what is left here is the, the actual meat there's no bones in it so those will be easy to fry at the moment I'm doing the bone first. As you can see, so I'm going to be, you know, 
turning it round as it's browning a bit, bit by bit, and see how it goes. So at the moment, I'm going to leave it here until I fry all the meat, and then we come back to start the sauce. I'll talk you through as I'm going along so that you'll be able to know what to do. Right. Um, speak to you again, please. Welcome back. My mum's now putting the onions into the is it olive oil? Yeah. To saute. That's gonna be the, the base. The base of the base, that's what I call it. The foundation of the foundation. This is like the soil. Without this, you can't build on anything. You can't build anything without onions. Well, you can, I guess, but... It wouldn't taste right if you don't. Yeah. With onions, there's more of a potential for greater flavor. Yeah. So I'm doing the onion until it browns up, and then uh, what we're going next will be this. Uh, pepper, scotch bonnet. Is that scotch bonnet pepper? Yeah, and ginger. What, are you trying to kid us? Like, you're only going for the yellow one? <laughs> yes. When I was young, I thought the red one was the most hot one. They, no, they're all hot. The yellow. But the yellow one. Uh -huh. And if you can get the one that's yellow and green at the same time, mm, that's serious. Yeah, it's a lot, but I might not use all of it. Oh, please use all of it. No, I don't want to kill you, though. It was a joke. I was thinking about Michael, my brother. Yeah, myself. I can't take too much. Because yeah. y'all will suffer. As for me, I... I Your dad even always complain. You know, it's not that hot. I'm thinking... Yeah, and my dad's the one who can't take chilli. Like, he's, his yeah. nose is dripping. But even he's saying it. But he loves it. He loves something. To be honest, personally, I think that's why he married you. No, he didn't know whether I could cook or not. You must have like cooked for him on one date, yeah, and he was like, yeah, I'm not leaving this African woman. <laughs> it was love, alright, so be quiet. Oh, okay. It's not the food. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's not the type, when I met him, he didn't like much food anyway, so I used to cook. He won't be eating and I end up eating it, he said. Yeah, I've seen old pictures of you guys. You guys are thin. I don't know. You were skinny in our twenties. But now they're still not that bad. These still look like right them, so I don't know. Now and then we put on, and then we, we, we go down again. Not bad for almost sixty years old couple. Okay, shall we go now? You guys keep going on like you're 60 years old. I won't say your age, but you're not 60. You're not you're far. Not, you're not far. So, are you going to put the chili? Yeah, it's not ready yet. Oh, right. I thought you were saying it was. So, these are the meats that is going in. How long did it take you to uh, prepare the meat? Um, it was cut yesterday. You bought it. You bought it. Yeah, from the butcher shop. Mm. So. so, it was cut yesterday. And so, I just put them in a the pot. A little water, about two cups of water, and start steaming it. With I put some uh, salt and some garlic powder on it, and let it boil. As soon as it boils, less than you know ten minutes, I let I, t I switched it off. Ten minutes later, I was steaming it for ten minutes. I switched it off, and then uh, drain the water and. Normally, some people would just throw the water away, but I decided to keep the water because I just add one that flavor. That's a juice right there. Yeah, the lamb flavor is phenomenal. So, um, I remember, you used to do this when I was young. You used to give me some of this to eat outside. Yeah, the little one. I just give you a little meat, a couple of those fry ones, and just, yeah, keep it and eat it bit by bit. Good times. Yeah. Now it takes a while before this one comes on. So these are the things I'm putting in. They can go over there. Then All right, the ingredients. Yeah. So you've got the Californian um, garlic, fine ground Malabar pepper, 
Got some tomato puree or tomato paste. Plum. Peel plum tomatoes, tomato juice. Got jumbo. We using the chicken one, which I might. Usually we use the the original one, but we can find it. So this would do. It still has a nice flavor anyway. Ooh. Let the camera auto focus. Oh, okay. And this is our favorite curry powder. It has no salt content. Great flavor. Got some smoked paprika. This is like the secret to tasty chicken or tasty anything. Paprika. Sometimes people will be trying to make a nice um, bread crumbs for their fried chicken. And they'll be thinking, you know, what's the missing ingredient? Most times it's paprika. We've got corned beef. Are we using corned beef as well? When I use corned beef, it, it brings down a little bit of the chili because it's not nice. So then make sure you chili. make sure you use all the chili then. No. Ooh, I'm so scared of the chili. Because if you put in corned beef then that means it's not gonna be as hot. It will be hot, but the flavour it won't be really hot, hot. Alright, so this so there's a lot of onions. Give it extra flavor. And I'm using only two plums, so normally I use about four plums, and I've got only two plums. And then one of the. Well, even this for some people is quite big. It is big because um, the meat is not a lot. So it's nice to have the corned beef in it to be flavor it. It's nice to have the, the bones as well, though. I don't know if it's well. <laughs> The bone marrow. Yeah, they are still in. Uh, look at these ones. They have been dropped out. Mm. They are inside. Nice. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm you see the marrow right there. That's the marrow. Right there. That's a bit too close. Alright, so we're going to come back when the onions have been sautéed and will, will the meat go in after that? Or are you going to put the tomatoes? Okay. This will go in next. Alright, so then you're going to put the chilli in and then the tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. Alright, so we'll come back when chilli, tomatoes and the tomato paste will go in. Alright, welcome back. Mum's going to put the scotch bonnet chillies. With ginger. Oh, with ginger. I was wondering why that was so yellow. It was yellow pepper. But I didn't know it was mixed with uh, ginger. So tomorrow's are uh, almost ready to go in. Okay, that is just coming to me. And we mix it and let it dry it a bit. Because I've got the water on the side, we're going in later. I'm not washing this. That's why I'm trying to drain everything. Out. It's not a um, chopped one, so I have to use my wooden spoon to chop it. Yeah. Manually. Thank 
can say it's, it's gone and done it. You know what I normally use? What? Normally seen my I thought I would do this to show people. I normally steam my tomatoes on the side. Yeah, we've done that a couple of times. I always do that. But this time I thought I would do it this way and show people how slow the cooking for putting it straight from the can into without having to warm it up. You slow down the cooking. So that is the reason why I always make sure that when it's beside it and it's boiling, you know, it's steaming. So it goes in and cook with the same heat. Uh, tomorrow didn't have a lot of water content. Yeah, I was glad. Those tomatoes, that's it. Those other tomatoes, they do. If like, you can see the oil on the side, on the edges of the sauce, which is a good thing. Really, I've seen it. So straight. it should be like that. If it was hot. It shouldn't be watery. Yeah. I don't want more water because I've got water there already. <laughs> okay, so what's going to go in next? Is it going to be the corn beef or the this lamb? This one will Alright, oh, the tomato paste. Already smell the flavor, the base. This is like the well part of the base. Oh yeah, no, it is the base of it. Hmm. And this is going to be the flavor. This is what you build on top. This is what makes it into a mansion. Did you are you using all of that? Yeah, because this tomatoes. Um, the puree is not really sour like other tomatoes. It's, it's, got, you know, it's a bit tasty, but when I read the ingredients, there's no, there's not um, sugar in it. So I don't know why it's not really you know, sour as like some people. This one. This thing is organic. There's no sugar. But it's very... I don't know that cut it, you know. Mm. So, you just bring a knife to get that to the sauce. My and what will go next after this one? What will go next will be... Not yet. It would have to steam out for about uh, the next mm. 10 15 minutes before what? before the corned beef. Alright, so the corned beef will go in for, for the lamb. Oh, yeah, the lamb goes in. Because the lamb's already well, sort of like cooked or half Now I'm going to put all this in it, the spices. Before the combat. So this one I've got in sprinkle about two, two tablespoons. And this one my garlic. I know you like using the fresh one, but I like both of them so. I use about the full yeah, two, two tablespoons. Uh, I'm going to use this one, the paprika. Um, do you know this? I have not put in any salt, and I'm not quite sure whether I will put salt. Well, you know, you've got corned beef, which has got salt. Not only that, the water. And also the jumbo stock. 
and my not to use the jumbo, not yet. This but one basically, we're, we're going to come back. This one. My we're going to come back when the, the curry, I mean, when the corned beef is going in. All right, so she's basically putting a couple of teaspoons of curry powder, yeah. and then she's going to put paprika in. Yeah, that's right. So we'll come back when the corned beef is ready to go in. Peace. Be last. All right, so we transferred the sauce to the bigger pot, and we're now going to put the lamb in. To follow up with this, the sauce we had before, I mean the juice from the steaming of the lamb. And then it's going to be very tasty. It's very hot. And the, the meat won't be too soft. That's a good thing. So you can chew this with your rice and stuff. I'll be eating my with couscous and salad. I'm going to have basmati rice. Oh. So I'll put this If you had the option, can you just like put, oh, yeah, yeah. put rice in here and then it. just cover it? That's the same channel. That's the right channel. Oh, alright. Yeah. It's the same route. Yeah, this is the time. But jollof rice, we don't normally put water. When you get to that level, I was. The only thing you have to do is to put your rice in it with the meat and keep stirring it and then become very moist. Okay. And that's when you lower everything and Cover it with clean thing and let it steamer. Right. So, so how long are you gonna let this simmer for? This one is going to be steamer for about the next 10 15 minutes. And then what's gonna happen after that? I'll come back to stir it and then um, when I get the oil back, which is the all the water is gone out from it's already boiled and cooked. At the moment you can't see no oil at all. It's just going to boil again. But what about the corned beef? The corned beef will come in last minute when I see the oil coming back. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we'll be back in 10 15 minutes, please. Welcome back. Now we're putting the corned beef into the sauce. Now the water is drained now. Mm, so it'll be nice and thick. Exhausted. <laughs> Exhausted. Okay. What happened this morning? 
I had to drop my brother Yao to uh, his football match. He's going away to uh, Burnley, and I had to drop him there by 4:30 in the morning. Burnley? You went there? No, he's he's going to Burnley, Burnley. So he has to take coach. Oh, okay. So I got there by 4:30. We left by three. So. I haven't really had proper rest. Okay, now the corned beef's in. Are you? What else are you gonna put in before you let this rest? Um, I'm going to throw in some fresh onion. And when I do that, which means that's the end of the sauce. Done. And then I still have my coconut to come in. Okay. Well, we'll come back when the onion is, is chopped. They on. It's done. Alright. Hmm, charming. You could do it and quite soup. And some a bit of fufu, yeah? A bit of a coffee. Oh. I'll make the one now. Okay, we are Dria Juma for. Yeah, I do your four. Dria Jumani. Yeah, I do your four. Right, um right, so. my corn beef is in the sauce. So as I'm staring there. I'm going sideways, I'm not going like you're doing porridge. So. Yeah, it's not maize porridge. Yeah. I know they smell the flavour. I hope there's enough chilli in this. It's too much. I'm even scared. Every time you say too much, it's not enough. <laughs> I said I'm scared. That's why I don't like cooking with ginger, you see. Oh, I thought you going to say you're ginger, cooking for me. You keep saying ginger's hot, it's not hot, it's tasty. Hey, it's hot. It nearly took my head off. I'm not gonna lie, I used to drink ginger beer, so I do like ginger. Shout out to anyone who likes uh, ginger beer or root beer. See my coconut. I have to have a couple of coconuts yes, in it. Yes, a couple. Not too much though. No. Brings out a nice aroma. Are we gonna garn we're gonna garnish shit with when are we gonna garnish shit with the onions? Uh, just a minute. Wait, this one no first. Alright. The sauce is done. Turn it very high, so Onions chopped big. Right. Why? So that um, once you're eating it, you'll be biting something like another fish. You've got a couple on the side here. Alright, so how long is this going to rest for? Uh, I'm going to leave it to rest for the next five minutes and it's done. At what temperature? Higher temperature. Okay, so we'll come back when that's done in about five, ten minutes, please. There you have it. The sauce is done. The corned beef and lamb shoulder curry is done. And here's it with the my basmati rice and some salad in the background. We'll do a little zoom in. It 
see the bone marrow right there? That's what I'm talking about. Nice, nice onion right there that I can chew on. So I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, feel free to like the video. Dislike, then feel free to dislike. And if you want to, please subscribe. Peace.